YouTube, what's happening with you guys, man? Appreciate you for tapping in with me again. We're back, bro. We're back and we're motivated. Raheem Morris has stuck a battery in my back, and I swear I'm 100% bought in on this. This coaching staff, the way it's rounding out, is giving me life, dog. So we're going to talk about Jimmy Lake today. We got to figure out who Jimmy Lake is. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? But before we do that, let's go ahead and set the table real quick. Raheem Morris has confirmed his coordinators. Zach Robinson is here because of Raheem Morris. Marquise Williams is here staying on with the Atlanta Falcons as a special teams coordinator because of Raheem. Jerry Gray, OG Jerry Gray, decided to stay here as well, man. So this is good news on good news on good news. Now, with Jimmy Lake. This was announced yesterday as well, and I peep the response to Jimmy Lake. It was very lukewarm. Now, it's because I feel we don't know too much about Jimmy Lake. One and two, Ryan Nielsen had a hold on a lot of people in the fan base. What he was able to do in one year just can't be pushed to the side. So, Jimmy, you got a tough task in front of you to win the fan base over. So, I wanted to dig into the crates to see what Jimmy is about. So we went back to 2019, the last time Jimmy was a defensive coordinator, just to get a feel of what he does on game day. Let's go ahead and hop into the tape. First play here. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the basics of a Jimmy Lake defense. Now, the basics, what you're going to see is a cover three shell defense. Now, what that gives you is a single high safety look. Now, the cover three is a zone coverage, right? So that zone coverage is deep thirds, right? These guys are deep thirds. All of these guys playing zone, and you have your underneath defender. Now, what you're able to do out of that cover three shell, you're able to mix in a lot of cover one, that's man-to-man, -man, as well as bring in a lot of exotic blitzes which we're going to see let's go ahead and roll this tape here now on this play here you're going to bring an extra backer you're going to press up on these guys and you're going to force them be aggressive with them to make a play now on this play here i just like the blitz design on this play we don't really see this in atlanta bro we don't see guys coming up the double a gap to blitz and then you're going to sneak in a safety behind that, just confusing the line. The back doesn't know who he needs to cover. Boom. Hey, salute to Justin Herbert for making that dime, though, dog. $200 million throw. But I just love the design and aggressiveness from that blitz that I wanted to display to you guys. Now, with Raheem Morris, 2023, two down linemen, just like we just saw, but these two down linemen are inside, and you have your rushers outside on this play, and just running the game inside, being able to confuse the offensive line so you can be able to affect and get to the quarterback, man, that is what we call defensive play calling, being able to put your guys in positions to make plays like this. Now, going back to Jimmy. Now, Jimmy, he likes to bring linebackers or dogs, and he likes to blitz with his DB. So you're going to see a blitz from up top here. But with this coverage, he's going to play a split coverage on this one. We're going to man up top, right? So we're going to man with these guys. But at the bottom, we're going to drop into a cover three. And we got our flat to curl. I mean, our curl to flat defender right here. So... With this, right, so they're going to play a split coverage. And with quarterbacks, you're going to have to identify blitzers, split coverages, all in a split second. And this is how you affect the quarterback to force turnover. So watch this play roll. Bring the blitzer from up top. You're manning at the top as well. You undercut it for an interception, right? So that's five who just blitzed on a couple plays before that. He's the one that's making the interception in this game on this play. So you got to have rangy safeties, right? You got to have safety that's going to come in on the blitz, being able to man as well as play their deep third. So that's very important. Jesse Brates is the man for that plan. All right. Next play here. You're going to see a similar blitz from up top. 
and right, you're going to man up as well. So you're going to match at the top. And just the theme here is affecting the quarterback, right? Bring an extra guy to try to affect the quarterback and to force him into mistakes such as these to where Jesse Bates can get up under a punt and be able to take it back. Now, with Jimmy Gray, what he likes to do, what he likes to do as well, he likes to drop guys into coverage. Now, that's very important. We're going to drop eight or we're going to drop seven. That's three men rushing or four men rushing. And everybody else is dropping back into coverage. Now, with that, you need guys that are going to be able to tackle, that know how to tackle. Safeties, cornerbacks, DBs that know how to tackle. Because one of the red areas for this defense is the flats. I saw the flats get exposed when they played Justin Herbert. The flats were gassed massively. You saw the game plan was to attack the flats. So you got to have guys that are out there. If you're going to be aggressive, at least be able to tackle or be mindful that they're going to try to counter your aggression with plays that are going to take advantage of that. Okay. So last play here, man. Just want to display and put this point out here that we're going to need an athletic edge, right? So their fourth guy, right, we mentioned that they normally put three down linemen, right? They play in a 3-4, three, three down linemen, and that fourth rusher in some defenses is called a fox, right? The fox player, right? That fox player, he either rushes or he drops into coverage, right? So don't get any of them. Don't any, any PTSD from Vic Beasley dropping in the coverage, right? So, so we got in trouble there. So just with this defense, man, to note, man, you see this defense across the league, D'Amico Ryans, Dan Quinn, Robert Salah, this cover three defense is pretty much the same principles, but it just depends on how the coach likes to call it. So with this play here, you just see um, your, your edge rusher, your defensive end, just dropping in the coverage, right? You can be able to use them out in the space and to get after the quarterback, man. It's just a little bit of information that I wanted to bring to you guys. So appreciate you for tapping in with me. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Let me know how you feel about this coaching staff. How you feeling about 2024? It's your boy, Sean J. I'm out.